Hey, what is up, guys? What, what is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back, guys, to my channel. My name is Ninja, and welcome back, guys, to a brand new box office video here on the channel today. Yeah, guys, box office videos. It is our third week of a box office series, and yeah, and today, guys, we're going to be talking about movies and whatever that's going on in the box office right now, so, yeah. And of course, guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button down below, that will really be a lot to me, so yeah. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button down below, we are getting so close to 1,000 subscribers, we are getting so close to it, so please, guys, make sure you guys go down below, hit that subscribe button down below, that will really be a lot to me, so yeah. Also, guys, if you don't want to miss a box office video, make sure you guys hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video, so yeah, and if you know all the time uh, about my box office videos, I start up with scene two. So let's talk about scene two of the box office. Let's talk about what's going on with it. So right now, if I can get it prepared, so right now scene two, right now the box office is over two hundred. I think it moved up the last time, I don't remember, but if you look at the box office numbers, it's 267, uh, it's 267 million dollars, and I'll be right back and see if I can find that video, uh, but where uh, the box office is right, oh, so with that, so, yeah. Wait. So right now, guys, what I'm working out right now is, of course, if you look at this YouTube channel video, it is right now 2.1 million. So this movie did hit an extra 36 million dollars today. And I was like, I like, this, this the, like, Universal's doing pretty good with this film, and this film only has been out for, I think, Six weekends, uh, oh, were we right? No, wait. We just passed the sixth weekend. I think last weekend was the fifth weekend of Sin 2. I don't remember, but, yeah, but, of course, Sin 2 did pretty well, uh, like, another extra 20 million. I'm gonna say it's gonna hit 300, over 300 million by the end of the year, like, by the end of its one time, it's going to be on DVD in March. So, yeah, so, I'm going to say scene two is doing pretty well at the box office right now. That's what I'm going to say. Pretty good at the box office right now. So, yeah, and let's talk about our next film, and our next film is going to be... Just give me a sec. Will be Matrix Four. So Matrix uh, Resurrection, Resurrection, says hit over a hundred fifty million dollars. Not bad. It's halfway down to two hundred million. And yeah, if you see right here on my last video I did last week, you did saw that right now it's one. One million, uh, one hundred forty-eight million dollars right now, and yeah, and of course, it got an extra five more million, an extra five million dollars this weekend and last week. So I'm gonna say it's too good, but yeah, and that is what metrics, and yeah, and that's how the box office is going on right now, and. Yeah, I just saying, yeah. It's just the way of the box office, and yeah. Let's talk about our next film. Just give me a sec. Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about is The Kidsman. So, for The Kidsman, it did hit, so right now, in my last video, The Kidsman has been like around 105, like 105 
million dollars right now. So yeah, but the kids bed got an extra. I think. I didn't count that. Uh, six. It did hit another extra. Nine hundred million. I'm gonna say. One, two, wait, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It hit another extra nine million dollars. It's right under. Yeah, it's still right under. Uh, you know, uh, Matrix Four, but. It is like it, what it is. The Kinsman is doing like it's too fine, but it's not like doing like the best at the box office right now. It is, it's over a hundred million. It's right now, but it's not like, and yeah, that's what's going on right now. And yeah, and let's talk about the next film. I think the next film will be in Kanto, right? Yep, it's Encanto, but I'm going to talk about Encanto for her last weekend, see if I know what's going on, okay? I'm going to check out Encanto and talk about her box office, because last weekend was her last week. And let's talk about what she did for her last week at the box office, and let's talk about it. And Encanto's final weekend, it was just the same. But with another extra four hundred thousand dollars, <sighs> in cut up, it was you did have a good job. I did find in the end of the day that in cut up can like I was like still hoping that in cut up could defeat the box office with two fifty, like over two fifty. 250 million, but it's not going to happen. But yeah, unless just maybe Disney decided to get an end pact and we release Encanto in theaters because what Spider Man No Way Home is doing at the box office right now. I'm gonna talk about more about Spider Man No Way Home in the end of the video, but yeah, but Encanto, you did have a good word, it did have a good word, and yeah. Because Encanto is pretty much a really great movie. I like Encanto. It's a great movie. It's one of my favorite anime. It's one of my favorite movies from last year. I'm gonna say because it was better than uh, Coco. No, no, no. I mean Luca. It was better than Luca, but it wasn't better than Wala in the Last Dragon. But Encanto is doing pretty well right now at the box office right now. I'm very excited. I really like that. So, yeah. And let's talk about our next film, and that is The Journal for Children. The Journal of Children is already done uh, in theater. So, yeah, let's get right to the next film after that. And, yeah. Where is it? Uh... What's the next film? Nicholas Pizza. Is that what's still here? Okay, guys, I'm back. I. Yeah. And. Yeah. I. Let's talk about Nicholas Pizza at the box office. So Nicholas Pizza did an extra. So the last video, so the last time it was like sixteen million six hundred seventy-four thousand six hundred and one dollars. Well, guys, it just went up like an extra three more, three more million dollars. And of course, Nicholas Pizza. It's not doing bad. It's, I'm not saying it's gonna. I'm not saying it's doing bad at the box office right now. I don't know what this movie is actually. I have heard a lot of people say it's pretty good. Uh, a lot of people I haven't heard, but but this movie for me, it's probably this is probably the last weekend uh, because if you think about it, it came out November twenty sixth. So probably on DVD today. So you guys will probably get this on DVD today. I don't really know, but nineteen million, 
Mm, it's better than like a thousand. It's better than like a thousand. Huh? So yeah, it was just, yeah. And it's doing pretty good at the box office right now. It's not doing terrible, but it's doing pretty solid at the box office. So yeah. But as I prefer to do solid, but not too much. So yeah. And let's talk about Ghostbusters Afterlife because this is the last weekend of Ghostbusters Afterlife. We see find out, we'll see if I know uh, how much did this film did at the box office. Let's talk about it. Well, Ghostbusters Afterlife from last week it hit a hundred ninety five million dollars. It didn't hit two billion, uh, two hundred million. It ended up its one time with one hundred one hundred ninety six million dollars right now. And you can buy this on DVD right now because this said uh, it's gonna be releasing on February first. And it is February first right now. So yeah. But Ghostbusters Afterlife, it's still pretty good. Uh, it did it did well at the box office, but it didn't did but it did not do the best. So yeah. Pretty good. I haven't seen the new Ghostbusters movie yet and I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna see it sooner. Not this instant, but sooner. What is the next film uh, after uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife? Just give me a sec guys, okay? Okay. How long am I talking for? I think the next time, the next one is West Side Story, right? No. The next one is Phantom Let to Be Cottage. And I think Phantom Let to Be Cottage is still in theaters, right? Just a good girl, guys. Let's talk about the next one, shall we? So, Phantom Let There Be Carnage by last weekend, uh, it of course got back into theaters. And yeah, by last weekend, it was 500 uh, one. It was over 501 million dollars right now. But right now, it only did hit above like an extra. 70 million dollars at the box office last week not that bad i'm not gonna say it's not that bad it was better than what no way home was because last week no way home hit like about an extra like a hundred million while this right here was like no i mean fifty thousand. i don't mean 50 million i mean fifty thousand dollars last weekend and of course phantom that to be college is doing Good, but it's not doing the best at the box office right now. But yeah, and of course, it's no longer in theaters right now, it's right now on DVD right now. So you can still watch it, you can watch it on DVD now. So yeah, you know, so, so yeah, but Phantom Let to Be Carnage is doing good, but it's not doing the best at the box office. So yeah, it's not doing the best. So yeah. The next one, I don't know what the next one, the next one will be West Side Story. So, last week, so last week, uh, West, West Side Story did hit $60 million, like over $60 million, but it hit an extra $1 million, over an extra $1 million from last week. It is possible that this, it could be possible that this film could still hit 200, 100 million by its final run time because, yeah, it also have only a few weeks left, so, yeah, so West Side Story, it's still doing fine, but it's not doing the best, so, yeah, box office numbers, this one here is doing fine, but it's not doing the 
perfect. So, yeah, that's up. So, yeah. And what is the next one? Next one will be American Underdog. So, American Underdog last week it hit two hundred twenty-three million dollars right now, and of course it hit over that this week. We're over twenty. We're over like another extra. One million, like an extra, like one million seven hundred million dollars, over like one million seven hundred thousand dollars, and of course, it's doing pretty well. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna end after it's one time. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna finish up it's one time, and uh, I'm gonna say uh, fifty million. It's probably not going to probably be the one time of the film because this film might be going on DVD in March. So, yeah. American Underdog, it's doing pretty well, but it's not doing the best. So, yeah. Let's see, yeah. Next film is going to be The Kid's Daughter. Last weekend, uh, The Kid's Daughter hit $750 million. Now, this week, it hit over a million dollars, like over a million dollars in the United States and America alone, because this is only, and yeah, it won one, one million four hundred seventy-seven thousand three hundred fifty dollars That's not bad for the box office. That's not bad. It's, it's good at the box office, but it's not that bad. And, of course, the King's Daughter... I didn't see what this movie is about. I have heard a few people say it is good, but it's not like the best. But, but the kids down home, it's doing good, but it's not doing... Uh, I forgot to tell you guys, okay? See that right there? It's right now, right, uh, my kids down home is 750 million, and it hit like above like 80, like around uh, 700 million. Seven hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand dollars more this weekend. So yeah, that's what I want to say. So yeah, and let's talk about our next film under the list, and it's going to be House of Gucci. So I want to tell you guys, this is the last week of House of Gucci. Last week was, and House of Gucci did like about a hundred and fifty. Over like 150 million last week, and I was just like, yeah. Well, this week, for the final week part, part it did hurt 150 million. It hit like around that time, and yeah. And I'm gonna say 100, over 150 million, that's not disappointment. That's so successful uh, whether it's the pandemic area, because we are still in the pandemic. We're still in the pandemic right now. COVID is still going on. The coronavirus is going on for a long time. And of course, The House of Gucci was a film that I have never heard about before. And of course, it only had... I do know that Lady Gaga is in here. So, yeah. But, it's not doing terrible. It's doing well, but it's not doing too terrible. So... Yeah, let's talk about the next one, and that is going to be Porcelain Mothers, uh, whatever you call it. So this next film I have never heard of before, that is Porcelain Mothers, and I did this last week, and of course, and it did hit like around 12 million dollars, over 1200 million dollars, but right here, it only did an extra like over 500,000. 500, that's not bad, that's not bad, uh, just for a film that came out in December. A film that was supposed to come out in December. Now, don't really say this date right here, because that date is not officially. If you look here, you can see December 24th. So, yeah, so this film uh, from Sony Pictures, 
it's doing good, but it's not doing the, the best at the box office. But yeah, no, this is, yeah. What is the next film add to the list? The Tiger Wiz Inc. So, the Tiger Wizzy Wizard, it only made $35 million, like over $35 million. Now, it just got into the United States of America, and it did hit only $764,000. By next week, it's going to hit $1 million by next week. So, yeah, this is another film that I have never heard about before. A young bird discovered a caged tiger in the woods near his home. So, it's just a tiger movie in the yeah, other episode. Yeah. Not something not, pos not something very possible, but yeah, but it's a pretty good show. Yeah. The next one is Nightmare Alley. So last week, Nightmare Alley did over forty million dollars at the box office, and I'm going to blame it for a lot of people. That's not bad though, for like uh, a few weeks now. It's just so yeah, maybe all the way in February or way in yeah, but it hit above a number uh, extra six hundred million, six hundred thousand dollars. Last weekend, the last week, and of course, it's doing a. Also, this has been out. This came out the same day as when uh, Spider Man No Way Home came out, so it'll probably be in a DVD in March, and I feel like No Way Home will be out in a DVD in April. I'm gonna say April is a good idea for No Way Home, so yeah. But for me, I'm just say it's doing good, but it's not doing deep best at the box office so far, so, yeah, and I, you know, this is, yeah, the next one I want to talk about is, let's talk about the next movie on this list, and that is, Philly, so I had a did an announcement about Philly, but Philly did hit a hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars, and yeah, this is terrible. But also, it is possible that it could get a comeback and maybe make a million dollars, or maybe probably five hundred thousand dollars, something like that. I don't know, but for me, it is uh, it's just a movie that I just didn't really know too much about. But it's just a film that nobody like ever thinks about in whatever those stuff. So yeah, you know, just, yeah. Let's talk about the next movie on this list. It is of course eighty three. So last week eighty three hit like about six million dollars, over six million dollars. Now, right now, it's over seven million dollars right now. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's not too bad, but it's too good, but it's not too bad. Seven million dollars, that's not bad. It's probably gonna hit ten million. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna hit ten million dollars. I'm just gonna say one of the most disappointment movies for last year, and yeah. So, yeah, let's just, yeah. And let's talk about the next movie on this list. And that is, of course, uh, Let's just talk about the rest of the movies that's right now on the list I'm seeing right now. Let's take up. Uh, uh, let's take a uh, GameStop Wise Player that came out last week, and it's a GameStop movie. So, yeah, let's check out this new GameStop movie. Uh, yeah, the GameStop Wise of the Players. 
It's actually like a GameStop movie, like GameStop, like video game store, GameStop. It only did $74,000. Yeah. Yeah. I like the idea of making a GameStop movie, but why? It's just, it's a doc, it's a documentary, it's a documentary movie. So, yeah. But, this GameStop movie, 74 million, 75, 75 it's doing fine, but it's not doing a, the best. So, yeah. Let's talk about the next one that is Lightbill Eily. Lightbill Eily. Yeah, Lightbill Eily. Uh, visions in the darkness and light. That's not odd though. So <laughs> let's talk about the the thirty the the thirty the three hundred fifty five. So last week the three hundred fifty five or was it the three five five whatever you call it and all stuff. It did sixteen over close almost close six sixteen million six hundred million dollars. But if you look at this, you can actually see it did hit an extra five million dollars. And I'm just gonna say, not bad. An extra five hundred million. Five. Did I just say five hundred million? I mean five million. An extra five million. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna say, it's not bad. Pretty good. Awesome. Awesomeness. It's awesome. So. Yeah, that's what's going over the box office right now for that film. So yeah. The next we're gonna talk about is Redeem Ing Love. So last week Redeem in Love did over three hundred it only hit three million seven hundred and ninety five thousand two hundred twenty five dollars. Well this is well that happened uh, the last week after, but with this last week, it hit a level extra 300 million. No, 300 million? Why am I saying 300 million? I mean, 3 million dollars. I'm gonna say that box office numbers for Redeem Inc. Love. Not bad. I. It's not bad. It's been out for two weeks already, so. It's been out for over a week already, but yeah, but that's not bad. But Star Wars is going to be bad, but when you get more and more, this film might hit. Uh, this movie will be released on DVD in April, of course. And I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Uh, 100 million? I'm going to say like 100 million? I don't really know, but yeah. But that's what I can think about, so yeah. What's the next film? The next movie we're going to talk about is we only got two more movies left and those are Scream 5 and Spider-Man No Way Home. Let's talk about scene. Let's talk about Scream 5 first. Guys, so if you don't know guys, last week, so two weeks, so on uh, January 25th, that, like that week before that week, Scream 5 did like around 85, uh, 85 million dollars. 85 million six hundred sixty six thousand nine ninety three dollars. It dropped so much by last weekend, like over 30 million dollars. Yeah, over 30 million dollars, and it might be the highest grossest scream movie right now. It might be the highest grossest scream movie ever made. And this right here is getting excited. It's getting excited for this movie and yeah. Unless you are a horrified fan. And also so yeah. And now let's talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. So Spider-Man No Way Home, the last so the last so let me get a little bit more closer for you guys to see that. Be back, guys. 
There we go, guys. So last, so the last, so at its sub bip weekend, it hit over one billion six hundred ninety-one million dollars. It went crazy by the next week. And also, if you didn't notice, guys, in the, in, in Tyrannical, hit over $1 billion. So, this film is a beast. Like, this movie is still doing amazing at the box office right now. You do not want to miss with this film. This film will be the best, this is going to still be the best movie at the box office right now. And yeah. If you look at the numbers, no, guys, if you look at the, the modest box office, it did hit around $721 million by that week. But this week, it dropped out uh, by extra, what number? An extra $15 million at the, the modest box office. Well, uh, in the worldwide, uh, not global, but around the world, not the United States of America, did hit over one billion dollars. So right now we are right now a billion seven hundred thirty-eight, one billion seven hundred thirty-eight million eight hundred eighty-nine thousand eight hundred eight dollars. And also have a few more weeks in the field, though. So. So like this, okay? So if you think about it, okay? Well, if you look at this, if you think about it, Spider-Man No Way Home is still the number six spot with over a billion seven hundred thirty-eight dollars. Could Spider-Man No Way Home hit a billion? Could it hit a billion? Could this film, could Spider-Man No Way Home hit a billion? Could it hit two billion dollars by the next few weeks? If it is possible that we get around 13 to 12 million dollars per weekend and uh, every week we get anything else, look at this, guys. Just look at this, okay? I'm gonna go to the, the modest box office right now. Wait just a sec. It's gonna load. Uh, look at Spider Man over here right now. It's right now. It's right now, twenty-five million dollars short to be the number three movie of all time. And if it is possible, if Spider-Man: No Way Home stays in theaters all March, it could defeat Endgame. I'm just saying, with this, with this box office numbers going up, with this box office movies coming up. It is possible that it could be the number two spot. The Force Awakens, now, it's not going to defeat the Force Awakens. But what if it did with $1 billion in the United States of America alone? Now, here's my theory that I have. Here's my theory about this. This right here is like, my theory is that it will defeat Avatar, 100%. It's going to defeat Avatar. It's probably going to defeat Endgame, but the only way for uh, the only way for No Way Home to defeat the only way that No Way Home could defeat Star Wars: The First Awakens is if Spider-Man: No Way Home has a China released. And a lot of people say that 100% we will be getting a China released of uh, No Way Home. But if you don't know, guys, look, guys, seven hundred million dollars in the United States alone. I know, I know, Endgame did more, but look at what Avatar did uh, without. Uh, look, look at Avatar. Look, look at what No Way Home did uh, without. Like, look at what they, look at what they did uh, with. Spider-Man No Way Home. No Way Home did that without China. And China is one of the biggest consulates. Or you could say one of the biggest countries of our time. Because they're like the most 
That's gonna power. I'm gonna just say it's like the biggest country, and it's like the biggest country ever. If the pandemic never happened, this film will of course defeat in game in uh, Avatar with three million, with three billion. So, if it is possible that Spider-Man No Way Home, because we have quite a lot of reports that say that Spider-Man No Way Home might do like, might, re, might get a re-released in the world. Like, it might get a re-released. Like, Disney's Sony is going to be released, re-releasing this movie. I love how a lot of people say that it could be re-released by the end of this year. By the end, like, when, like, Black Pepper 2 is premiering in theaters. They're going to put this movie back into theaters to make a lot more money. And if this do that, it could be possible that 100% it could be possible that No Way Home could defeat Endgame. It's 100% going to defeat Avatar, then it could defeat Endgame. Because Endgame, it only needs another extra... Uh... Let's see, 50. It only needs another 100 million dollars. Another 100 extra 100 million dollars. It is possible that it could defeat Endgame. The First Awakens, it might need to get another 200 million, but I don't think we could get another 200 million anytime soon because we only get like around 50 million. Oh, I get it now. At the box office alone, it gets like around 12 million to 13 million. So, if it does hit like around 1200 to 13 million, so it is only 25 dollars. So, if it hits like 12 million dollars this on the seventh weekend, it's going to it's going to hit 740. Uh, Seven million dollars, and then probably one week or two weeks. I'm gonna say closely to the end of February, it's going to defeat Avatar, and it's probably gonna be stuck at Avatar being the number three, unless China gets a release date. I don't know when we can get a release date of China. But I'm hoping that No Way Home does have something to do with the future. And, yeah. Let's just see to find out what happens. But, yeah. So, here's what you guys need to do, okay? What I said before in my two previous videos. What I said in my two previous videos. Like, what I said before. Just give me a sec, guys. Like, like I said before, guys. If Spider, if you guys could completely go back to the field doors again, if you could go back to the field door, right, right. If you're from the United States of America and you're watching Spider-Man No Way Home, watch No Way Home in field doors a lot more times this month. Watch like a few times this week to help this ball hit over $760 million to defeat Avatar to be the number three movie of all time in the United States alone. And uh, if you guys could do this, guys, it could be possible that No Way Home, it is possible that Spider-Man No Way Home will defeat the box office with $2 billion. I'm going to say... If you work at the box office, I'm going to say if this film does hit 2 billion, it will defeat Infinity War and The First Awakens. It is possible that it could defeat Infinity War. It's 100% going to hit defeat Infinity War in, in, in The First Awakens. If you work at the box office right now, you will see, guys, that these movies is going by very fast. Probably this week, it's going to hit like around $60 million. Look at what Snowy Home did the last week. Look at that number right now, guys. Look at that number, okay? Look at the number right now. It hit like an extra $40 million. If it keeps on making $40 million around the world, it is possible that if it keeps on, keep on doing this, 
then probably the end of February, it will hit two billion dollars. It will hit two billion. Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna hit two billion. Uh, not the end of February, but the end of uh, but the beginning of March. Whatever. And if if it is confirmed, if it is true that Spider-Man: No Way Home could stay to theaters till April. If it stays into if it stays in the theaters in April, you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? If this film did hit, if this film does hit like around seven, if it does, stays in theaters until April to keep it into theaters another extra two four months, then it is possible that Spider-Man: No Way Home might be the number three movie. At the global box office, in the worldwide box office, for being the number three spot, for passing Infinity War, The Force Awakens, and Titanic. In given Avatar is impossible. If China gets a release date, it's probably never going to do that. It's probably might be we will release it to theaters pretty soon, but yeah. But Spider Man No Way Home is doing so well at the box office right now. That I'm gonna say it, Spider-Man No Way Home might defeat the box office and become the number three spot. If people goes, if people around the world go watch No Way Home over, over, and over again, it is possible that No Way Home might be the number one, might be the number three movie at the box office. So it is okay. It would be the number three movie at the. In the USA box office, it will hit. It will hit. And it might defeat Titanic at the global box office. So yeah. So yeah. I might end the video up here because there's nothing anything else to talk about. I just want to remind you guys: go watch No Way Home Theaters. Go watch it. If you're from the United States of America, go watch it. If you're from, if you're from. Anywhere else like uh, France, uh, UK, United United Kingdom, uh, yeah, United Kingdom, uh, or oh, somewhere else or something like that, or oh, anywhere else or something like that. Watch No Way Home a few more times. Raise that budget. When like make that box up and goes up higher to be the number three spot. I'm still guys fingers crossed. It might defeat Titanic at the box office. Fingers crossed. If this film does amazing, it will probably defeat Infinity War. It's probably 100% going to defeat Infinity War. It's probably going to defeat The First Awakens. Titanic, I have no idea for Titanic. But if it can defeat Titanic at the box office, then yes, I'll be so excited that it's the number three movie at the global box office. And the number three at the... Uh, the bonus box office, meet the United States box office. So yeah. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button down below. If hit that like button down below. If you're gonna go see Spider-Man No Way Home again in theaters where you're out right now and all stuff. And hit that subscribe button down below. Guys, we are getting so close to one thousand uh, subscribers. So please guys make sure you guys go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. I want to hit this channel to 1,000 pretty soon. I was thinking maybe the end of this week. Guys, by February, I want to get this channel to 1,000. So please, guys, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit me up, guys. So, yeah. And if you don't want to miss a box office video, then hit that notification bell. So, so yeah. And stick around. And stay tuned, guys, because on February 8th, we are going to be doing an episode, an episode 4 of a box office series uh, with Spider-Man No Way Home in theaters. So, yeah. And then stay tuned, guys, because later today at 9.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will be premiering my very first DreamWorks review. So stick around, guys. And all this stuff, so yeah. And yeah, guys, so yeah. Don't forget guys to go down below, hit that subscribe button down below to join the Ninja Nation Army. And we will see you guys inside the next one. See you guys next time. Bye. Ninja out.
Peace. And one more thing, guys, that is hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And stick around, guys. Go check out more of my other videos out to the channel. There's a lot. If there's a video for you, there's a video. There's a lot of videos coming up for you guys. So if you really want to be, uh, if you really like this video and all the stuff, if you love, if you like this video, you will like more of my other videos. So please go do that. And I will see my Spider-Man fans and my Spider-Man fans and Scream fans next time. Peace. Call